On today's episode of Hoarders, This is day one. I don't even know what to say. Oh, so here we go. We're putting up the house for sale in two days. We've traded in both our vehicles for one truck. We traded in a small teardrop for a bigger toy hauler RV. And we sold another one of our motorcycles and we've been selling stuff pretty much this whole week. We're about to go in the full-time RV lifestyle. Some might say we're crazy, um, but I believe they're right. Um, pretty much, we just decided that uh, we're going to sell pretty much everything, go down to the bare basics and see a little bit of the world. Um, you know, we, we did quite a bit of time in the military, so we're used to kind of moving it uh, every two years and you know, it, it kind of got used to it, and we kind of miss it a little bit. Um, you know, so we're we're taking our our dog Thor and our cat Chloe. They'll be going with us. We're gonna try and hit up some areas, um, ride motorcycles, our uh, motorcycle around some nice roads, and just kind of uh, see what all is out there. Um, and then also too, hopefully we can uh, do some kind of fundraising, um, looking for ideas. Um, you know, whether it's veteran, uh, you know, uh, animals, kids, cancer, you know, um, those yeah, types of you know, organizations. So if you know a really great one, drop it in the comments below please. so we can check out that organization. Yeah. Uh, we want to do a lot of research. We don't want any fundraising to go to admin pockets. We want it to go to actually help people. Yeah, we're... Ah, what a good early morning it is. It's uh, just before 5. We're about to do the garage sale and get rid of pretty much everything in the house. Do your little show. Um, we've got everything kind of pulled into the uh, living room. Uh, we got some stuff that's in the garage too. I'll kind of give you guys... The house looks horrible right now because everything's pulled out of the living room. I, can't even talk right now because everything's pulled into the living room and uh, into the garage. We got some things that way we can just pretty much just pull and take out there as quick as possible. Oh, God, it's so early in the morning.
you start over. Ready? Wait, wait, what am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? Okay, all right, go. Just do it. Just go. click. Okay, so the garage sale is done, and we are in this house with hardly anything at all. And I have to say that it feels a little bit overwhelming and liberating at the same time. And the garage sale went off pretty, pretty quick, pretty easy. But it was a lot of work to move everything out there. Um, we didn't think we'd do it in time, honestly, uh, to get it all everything out. And honestly, we still had a couple items that we left in the house. Mm -hmm. um, couch mainly <laughs> yeah. well the couch but i mean there's like some picture frames and there was a table that we meant to pull out there that didn't make it yeah um so yeah um. yeah so for the garage sale for getting rid of this stuff um your stuff is going to go super cheap but it's going to be super quick so if you are kind of crunched for time that's a plus which was for us um we had a lot of stuff. You accumulate a lot of things really fast and you go back and you start, man, I haven't used that in years. And yet I'm carrying it around from house to house. Yep. So it gets to the point where you're like, what do you really need to live? What do you really need to, to be happy from day to day? Anything else? Uh, what, yeah, I guess, what was your takeaway? What was your, uh, how do you feel after all this? You know, we gave up a ton of stuff that we had and we worked forever to get. So, I mean, what's your, how do you feel about it? Well, I kind of feel like it seems kind of silly, just the vast amount of decor and just extra clothes. I mean, like we had we, we had tons and tons of clothes and, mm -hmm. you know, if you wore them every day, it'd be months before you had to wash them if you went through every item of clothing that you had. It, it's a little ridiculous, the amount that I think the average American person accumulates. So going down to this RV, even though we feel like, you know, oh my gosh, we don't have enough stuff you really do. Yeah. First world problems. First world problems, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, well, what about appreciation? Uh, I think it really makes you look at uh, each individual item, you know. Is it something that's just so near and dear to you? Uh, can you use it for more than what it's just, just emotional attachment was? Uh, that was on a lot of stuff. Now, I'm glad that some items went to other people that you could tell was going to appreciate and really enjoy those yeah, items. So that yeah. was good to see. Um, when it came down to like, you know, 11 or 12 o'clock, I would say uh, there was one lady, she'd been back three or four times. Um, she does a lot of stuff for the community and she, you know, she asked, well, how much for all of it? And we said $5. And she, she took a ton of clothes and some more decoration items. And it was probably two, two truckloads full of stuff. Um, and you know it went to a good cause, so at least it was you know something of, of value, you know. And uh, people weren't going to pay for it. It was just people that really seriously needed it. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't going to line anybody else's pockets. It's people were going to actually use all these items. So I felt pretty good about letting stuff go, even though it was super cheap. Yeah. But and yeah, it's kind of I guess freeing and liberating to some degree. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Uh, if you like what we're doing, please uh, like, subscribe comment and if you don't you know hey give us some feedback still like and subscribe yeah right. yeah <laughs> we'll see y'all later